Hello everyone, my name is Yuta Suzuki. I'd like to talk about transfer learning model for image segmentation. My presentation consists of five parts. Introduction, related work, proposed method, experiment and results, finally, conclusion. First, I like to start by talking about introduction. Here's introduction. In recent years, the development of deep learning technology has been remarkable. In line with this, deep learning has been applied to various image recognition tasks as well. For example, classification, object detection, and segmentation. Now, I'd like to show you the three image recognition tasks. Here, you can see about classification. Classification is a task of identifying an object in an image, like this. Next, here, you can see about object detection. Object detection is a task to identify objects in an image and project their rectangular positions like this. Finally, here you can see about segmentation. Segmentation is a task of identifying objects in an image in pixels like this. Also, there are tasks like this. In the next slide, I'll, I'll introduce ImageNet, which is a typical classification dataset. ImageNet is a very large dataset for image classification. And the model trained on ImageNet is open to the public, and anyone can use it. Therefore, the model trained by ImageNet is often used for transfer learning to another task. Here, we have an explanation of transfer learning. Transfer learning is a method of applying a model learned in one task to another task. Transfer learning makes it possible to create high-performance models, even when there is little training data. Because it uses pre-trained models on large datasets. Here, you can see fine-tuning, one of the transfer learning techniques. Fine-tuning is a transfer learning technique commonly used in CNNs for image classification task. In fine-tuning, it is believed that the lower layer of CNN are learning general features and frees the training in this area. As a result, fine-tuning works for the classification tasks, but not such much for the segmentation task. Second, I'd like to start by talking about related works. Here, you can see UNET, a representative model for segmentation. In CNN, downsampling reduces the size of the future map and provide local features, but loses local location information. But in UNET, it is possible to learn location information by attaching a skip connection to a large size feature map. If you want to do transfer learning with UNET, using pre-trained model for the encoder part of UNET. 
This model is called Transnet and is currently the most effective transfer learning model of UNET. Also, fine tuning is not effective for UNET now. In addition, there is UNET as an improved model of UNET. In UNET, decode from each scale's encoder part and connect them to the decoder by skip connection. By this, UNET can reduce future map gaps between encoder and decoder. I'd like to start by talking about problems to be solved. Current station segmentation tasks are expensive to produce data for training. So, segmentation needs transfer learning. If do transfer learning using a training model in ImageNet, which is classification task. Then, here's one problem. There are difference in learning feature between classification and segmentation. In classification, only local features to be learned. In contrast, in segmentation, we need to learn both local features and location information. So, when ImageNet is used for transfer learning to a segmentation as a pre-trained task, we need to learn to bridge this difference. In response to these problems, Sarah, I'd like to start by talking about proposed method. We propose two methods. First, we proposed SEUNET++. SEUNET++ is a model which attaches SE block to the encoder part of UNET++. This allows us to expect efficient learning of local features and location information. Here, we have explanation of SE block. SE block was channeled in the CNN feature map and em emphasize high value feature maps and suppress low value feature maps. In this case, in the first half of the encoder part where the size of the feature map is large, the feature map including the location information is emphasized. On the other hand, in the latter half of the encoder part, where the size of the feature map is small, the feature map, including the local feature, is emphasized. Second, we proposed transfer learning algorithm for image segmentation. First, visualize the learning features difference between image net and segmentation by calculating the cosine similarity between the each parameters. And next, freeze training in area with simil similar learning features. As a result, we expect apply fine tuning to model with unit structure. Fourth, I'd like to start by talking about experiments and results. Now, I talk about experiments that we used Kaguru's 2018 data science board in experiments. This task is a segmentation to detect the nuclear of cell like this. This dataset has only 
670 training data. And now, I'll talk about experiment model. We used UNET, UNET++, and SEUNET++ with a VGD16 encoder. VGD16 consists of 13 convolutional layers. Next, I'll talk about the result of SEUNET++. The evaluation function is mean IOU. In the table, unsupervised is a result of not using transfer learning. Supervised is a result of applying transient transfer learning. In result of 200 epochs, SEUNIT++ has higher mean IOU than other models in both unsupervised and supervised. In result of 1000 epochs, SE Unit++ also has high mean IOU. So, it can be said that SE Unit++ is learning more efficiently. I talk about the learning feature difference between ImageNet and segmentation. This figure shows that the difference of learning feature between ImageNet and segmentation, calculated by proposed transfer learning algorithm. The horizontal axis shows the number of convolutional layers from the input of VGG16. And this figure shows that in the first half of the encoder, the unit structural model is very different from ImageNet in terms of training figures. And I'll talk about learning features of SE Unit++ and traditional fine-tuning. Traditional fine-tuning raises from the input layer. In the figure, the blue line shows the main IOU when the traditional fine-tuning is applied to SEUNIT++ and the orange line shows the SEUNIT++ distance of the learning features calculated by the proposed transfer learning algorithm. This figure shows raising a large difference area in learning feature reduce performance and if t is set like this this part will be raised in proposed transfer learning algorithm i'll talk about result of proposed transfer learning algorithm in the table, supervised is a result of applying transnet transfer learning, and proposed is a result of applying proposed transfer learning algorithm. In result of 200 epochs, proposed has higher mean IOU than supervised in all methods models. In result of 1000 epochs, proposed also has high mean IOU. So, it can be said that fine-tuning has been applied to the unit structural model by applying proposed transfer algorithm. Finally, I'd like to start by talking about conclusion. Here's conclusion. We propose SE Unit++ which if efficiently learn both local features and location information by attaching C block. And we also propose a transfer learning algorithm that bridges the difference between the tasks by comparing parameters. As a result, SE Unit++ showed better performance than Unit++. And we were able to apply fine-tuning to models with the unit structures. That's all. Thank you.